Hey Scorpio, thanks for coming around Born of the Rose and clicking on your weekly tarot card reading. This is a general collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio highly aspected in your chart, your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, this reading could be for you. If not, and you clicked on it anyway because you thought the icon or the thumbnail picture was funny or whatever, this might be for you too. Your intuition may have brought you to here. Um, so if you clicked on it, there's something, in, there's a message somewhere in here for you. But I want you to use your intuition and your discernment, your inner guide. That's why I do these readings. I'm trying to help people develop that muscle, if you will, that spiritual muscle of intuition. Um, if what I'm saying for you does not resonate, if it's giving, make you feel uncomfortable, agitated, or angry, please stop watching the video, click off, that it wasn't for you, it was a test. Okay. Yeah. Scorps, how you been, y'all? Um, the lighting might be a little shady, shadowy, um, using natural light, and I'm also under a tree for shade, because out there in the sun, it's like 95 degrees. Here in the shade, it's 82-ish. Um, much more pleasant. And I'm not trying to cook myself while doing a reading. <clears throat> totally jacked me up, y'all. Um, okay, so almost all my disclaimers done. Oh yeah, last one. If you want a private one-to-one -one reading with me, where we look at your situation specifically, and the reading is catered to you because it's, it's reading about you, well, look me up on Instagram. My handle is Iron Rose Alchemist. It will be in the description box below. Um, okay. Let's get going here. Uh, what do we have for Scorpio for the overall theme for this week? Meh. Overall theme is meh. Kind of, well, I don't, you're offering me what? Meh. This is a four of cups. This is a card of um, not really being interested in what's being offered. Or you're just, yeah, it's, it's, to me it's the, the card literally could just say meh at the bottom. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's four of cups. Oh, wait, yeah, I just dated myself. So I'm a Gen X, and you may have to go ask an old person what that means, if you're one of my younger viewers. Okay, and we have the Page of the Cups. Youthful water sign, like yourselves, like us. Youthful water sign energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? Um, it's sweet. Wants to share emotions, wants to get together, wants to sit down and have a cup of tea. You know, that's going on inside. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling very page of cups. Maybe you offer your cup, but no, no, it's okay. I don't, I don't need what the world's bringing me. It's because I don't. Because of your inner high priestess. She has come out for everyone today, by the way. This, this feline wants to be known and wants to be in the room, okay? Your inner high priestess is saying very softly and very subtly, but repeatedly, I'm in the room, I'm here for you. I'm not gonna yell. I'm here when you're ready. It's quiet, your world, and feel what I'm showing you. That's literally the message she's been pushing out of me. Okay, let's look at the energies that are coming towards our Scorpio collective. What's, what's Scorps got coming towards them, sir? Hanged man, someone who has a new perspective on things. Hanged man has taken the time to go within and gain a new perspective. Not the hermit style of go within. That's like going off and sitting under a rock. Total isolation. Hanged man could be in a yoga studio. Doing that. 
upside down, seeing the world from a different angle, and goes, oh, oh, that's what that is. Oh, got it. Okay, I, I'm, I can run now. I got it. So the new perspective is coming towards you, or someone who's had a new perspective, or a Pisces, say it's a part of Pisces. Okay, the fool is also on to be in every reading today, too. So there's a new beginning energy available right now. So you could have this hanged man person coming towards you, offering a new beginning. They've left the past in the past. They've, they're open to the future. They're as fun as a puppy with a stick. They just want to, you know, let's have fun. Let's do this thing. Whatever this thing is, work, career, family, I don't know. But this energy is there. And it's definitely in the collective right now wanting to be expressed and experienced. And there's also competition energy around. Um, this is Seven of Wands. This is a card of competition. And the self, you the viewer, you're the self in this. See the yellow ribbons wrapped around that one wand that's up high? They have the high ground. Okay, if you remember when Obi-Wan and Anakin were fighting because Anakin is no longer Anakin, now he's Darth. And they're on that burning planet. And Obi-Wan's got the high ground. And Anakin's like, oh, I'm gonna beat you. And Obi-Wan's like, Anakin, I've got the high ground. You've already lost, I've won. You know, and he, Anakin doesn't. That's the Obi-Wan card, okay? You've got the high ground. You can defeat Anakin. So you, you can beat the, the person who's bigger and more muscular and has more force power because you've got the high ground that's what I'm saying that got weird okay if that was cringy leave a comment down below I'd love to know because <laughs> cringe is my favorite form of humor yeah things about me you didn't know okay again moving forward let's look at the potential crossing energies for you for this week what could potentially be a hiccup a test point, a blockage for our Scorpio peeps. Spirit, what do we got here? Needing strength, or it's a Leo getting in your way. Strength to overcome our inner misguidances. The strength to actually follow the High Priestess's advice. take strength and resolve to do that. What else do we have? Six of the swords. Moving on to calmer waters could be a challenge point. Needing to end the mental battles. The, the, the mental chatter, pain stuff. Or verbal conflicts you're having with outside sources. Just move on to calmer waters. Let's, let's let that trick go. And, No problem with that one, Scorpio. That's our card, people. Well, the death, too, but score, um, the tower. Something's got to fall. Something, a way of being, a arrangement, a job. Uh, hopefully not an actual tower. Hopefully not an actual building needs to come down, but it could be. Could be. Anyway, the challenge could be a need for a tower. The tower's got to happen. And how we react to that, act to that, act through that, that's up to us. So that does not have to be a challenge for you, but it's going to happen. And the tower falling is inevitable. So you can try to prop it up with sticks. They're going to they're gonna snap. You're just going to make it worse when it falls. Most Scorpios are already aware of that, but still got to put that out there. Okay, what's the advice for our Scorpios? And the Chariot. These cards, it's like the same reading, but in different order and organizations. Seriously. Done four, this is my fourth reading today. I clear the energy in between each one. I've been doing this for quite a while, but I'm seeing so many of the same energies wanting to be in the room. And the Chariot, this is your physical you, by the way. Your body is your chariot that moves you through this plane. It's your world, yo. Make it so. Balancing of the head and the heart. The enemy. You know. 
masculine and your feminine and moving it forward, whatever it is for you in the physical world. That's, that's beautiful advice. Move it forward, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. It's part of not having enough or feeling left out or feeling a shortage. I'm going to pull one more card before I talk on the Five of Pentacles. Because it can have a couple of meanings for me in um, advice. Nine of Swords. Okay, so you've been thinking about if I do this thing, if that tower falls, I'm not going to have enough. And that's had you in your head. You know what I'm talking about. Let the tower fall so you can move your chariot forward into the life that you've always deserved and always wanted. <sighs> okay, Scorps, that's what I had for you, my friends. Again, if you want a private reading with me, look me up on Instagram. The handle's in the uh, description box. It's Iron Rose Alchemist. All my private readings are donation-based, so it's not going to break your bank. Unless if you want to. I mean, if you want to give me everything you got, I'll take it. I'm going to advise you against it, though. What the heck? Uh, nor am I stupid. So, go over there, message me on Instagram. You know, set it up. And this is where we're parting ways, Scorps. I really am wishing you the best week. So much love. From my heart to yours. I send you love. I send you peace. See you in the future, Scorpio.